Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing shows that you should watch on Netflix. And it, these shows might be like highly overrated. Like a lot of people have probably been talking about them, but I honestly love them so much that I want you guys to see them. Obviously most people are probably gonna be done with them, but let's get to them. So the first show I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is a show that just came out this year. Obviously it has one season, Too Hot to Handle. That is a show that I was like literally so obsessed with. It's a reality show and it is about these group of Instagram models that they brought together from all over the world. And it's like, um, they, they get to spend a month in a villa like by themselves just with pools and bikinis and stuff like that and like um but it's really hard for them since they're used to getting so much stuff that right there they have rules and they have a prize fund that they're supposed to keep intact so the price is a hundred thousand dollars cash and everything they do can cost money so like let's say because the rules are they are not supposed to have any sexual or just any contact like a kiss can cost them like three thousand dollars and sex can cost them like i think it's ten thousand dollars so they're supposed to stay away from that it is i, I love that show because it's literally a lot of drama like they so funny like they're so fun to watch that it's like it just makes you feel like you're right there seeing them it's funny so i really hope you guys should watch that show if you guys haven't already it's really nice and you won't regret it it's so fun the next show that i'm gonna share with you guys is never have i ever it's recently yeah it's from this year too and it's one season obviously and it is about this indian girl that was raised in the united states with her dad and mom but her dad recently passed away so she has to deal with that and it's literally i like a show because it's like about teenage stuff and drama that you can really relate to and like it's also about her trying to find like more friends and like upping her popularity and finding a boyfriend so it really has to deal with that stuff and like school being the most smart and all that stuff and like it's just really it makes you think like what it is with her and like what's going on in her world but i really i really um think you guys should watch that show if you haven't already and like i said if you guys see me looking down here it's because I have like all my shows written down right here because I don't have them all in memory. So let's move on to the next show. My next show is Riverdale. It has three seasons and the fourth one is coming out. And honestly, this show is like really, like if you really like a show with mystery and drama in it, Riverdale is the way to go because I know a lot of people like talk about Riverdale and like, oh, Riverdale is like so bomb and stuff, but like, it is so i am sorry if you have heard of this show like everywhere else but it really is a good show and i like i love it but um it's about a death at a, t a small town riverdale like about it starts with the death of jason blossom one of the twins that dies and it becomes a mystery like who killed him and stuff like that and like it opens up like chaos in the city in the town i mean and like if you really love like about mystery and investigations like that's that show i love it because i really love about those stuff so you should really watch that show if you haven't already i mean i know a lot of people bring it up and stuff like that and it's really lo like i love it so you guys should watch it riverdale mm, best show ever well one of the best shows ever i'm about to get into more next show all american three i mean two seasons sorry about that two seasons and it is about a family, it's like a family drama. Um, so it's a, about a young high school student, Spencer James, I think it is, yeah. It's been so long that I haven't, like, I don't know. So it's about a guy, Spencer James, and like, he. Ha it's like about the two families who he's gonna share, like, his time with, his family at Crenshaw, and then his family at Beverly High. So it's really about all this family drama that he goes through while transferring from Crenshaw to Beverly High which is like a big kind of impact on him and on his family so he has to like really navigate through those stuff and decide what he has to do what he wants to do so I really recommend it if you're into that 
it's like really about a family drama and like it's just going through his life like everything that he's been through and like just finding his way through those stuff and like finding him his own thing so if you guys really want to watch it go ahead it's a nice show all american on netflix and it is like the best one of the best moving on to the next show lucifer morning star the king of hell um four seasons really nice show i love it like literally it was my favorite show when i watched it back then but it's so interesting it's like the fallen angel the king of hell and then like he gets bored so he goes to la for a, a vacation that he ends up staying like for a long time and he he like um there in la he owns lux i think it is lux a nightclub where he like makes all so many stories there and like he, meet, he meets this detective on a crime scene and they become friends and like um, like then he becomes an LAPD consultant for them who tries to punish people for their crimes and it's literally just like him trying to like be this horrible guy but he doesn't really want to so it's like a nice show you guys should go watch lucifer you guys haven't it's like a really nice story of like where they go and like where he goes where he started from and it's just really nice how he like and like evolves from all that stuff so go watch lucifer four seasons best show one of the best shows these are all my best shows honestly so next show moving on to the next show sex education two seasons and it is about this awkward guy in high school his name is Otis, and he like does not have experience on the love, love department at all. But he gets a lot of he gets a lot of um, like a lot of guidance on the topic. Living with his mom, Jean, who is a sex therapist. Uh, yeah, and Otis has like literally become an expert on the subject, and he decides to improve his status at school by. By teaming up with whip smart girl Maeve and they become like a team for and they form a, an underground clinic for classmates that have problem on that subject and it literally becomes like a roller coaster going up and down and like it's all about the problems and like sex stuff and like really funny stuff really fun stuff and if you guys want to watch that go ahead it's really fun to watch and really funny literally I enjoy that show so much. It's like the best, one of the best shows ever. So go ahead and watch it. Moving on to the next show, Elite. Three seasons. It is it is about when three working class teens, Samuel, Nadia, and this other guy, get involved in an exclusive private school in Spain. The clash between them and the wealthy students leads to murder. So this show is like one of the best shows i've watched because it's like so like it's about murder and like who murdered who so like it gives you like a an overview that you can see like in the beginning it's like someone's murdered then it's like how did that happen who did it and like what so it like goes through the stories and like everything that's been going on and you're like oh my god like that happened and that he did that or she did that and it's like it always gives you something to look forward to so like you can stay and like see how it ends up so it's like really you should watch it because it's really about murder and like who did what so go ahead and watch elite on netflix one of the best shows ever i watched next show moving on to the next show legacies oh my god legacies is literally one of the best shows ever it is about this girl hope michelson who is um who is a lot of things who is daughter of Klaus Michelson and daughter of Haley Marshall Haley is a werewolf Klaus is a vampire and she has some some witch bloodline so she's literally all those three stuff she is um honestly it makes so much sense if you watch one of the other shows which are the vampire diaries which i'm gonna get to and the and the the what's it called the originals the originals this was filmed two years after the originals when hope michelson went into the salvatore school which you would know that last name 
by watching the Vampire Diaries because she goes there because that school is made for the young and gifted which it means the ones that are vampires or are just like have magic so that is a really nice show I really recommend it it's like so nice it's like so so nice oh my mom's calling me I'll be back to the next show I'm back my mom called me because she needed me to call me this girl or this lady that was gonna give her some kittens so we're gonna go get some kittens tomorrow two babies and the mom that's so cute okay <laughs> moving on to the next show on my blog this is the second to last by the way so on my blog is literally so nice it's three seasons they just released the third one and I love it it's like about these friends savvy friends that are in high school and like no three not three four friends <laughs> forgot Monse so there are four friends who are navigating through high school and like including all the pain and newness they experience along the way lifelong friendships are tested as Monse, Ruby, Jamal and Caesar are like um, the challenges of adolescence in life in their predominantly Hispanic and just south neighborhood in LA so they literally have to go through so many stuff and like it's sad but it's like they make it so interesting it's like about this stuff that they need to figure out who killed what like who killed who and like these stuff that are really nice you should watch my blog it's literally one of the best shows ever that I'm saying because obviously I'm talking about it so I like it so you should watch it it's nice moving on to the next show okay last show that I'm gonna be talking about Vampire Diaries oh my god the Vampire Diaries has eight seasons which are so interesting which are incredible which are so nice which are so good okay I'm gonna show you guys like just like a glimpse of the Vampire Diaries it's just like about a girl named Elena Gilbert who is one of the founders the founders families and like it was she just lost both parents has a brother and like she falls in love with a 162 year old vampire named Stefan Salvatore who is brother of Damon Salvatore who is yeah it's just so nice like it's like about these vampires and like werewolves and witches and it's so like interesting like you see them and it's just once you once you become a vampire or a warlock I want to be a warlock okay but literally it's one of the best shows I've watched because it's like and I know, I know it might be like the best, like it might be like um, highly overrated by people, but I love it and you should watch it. And that is it guys. That is all the shows that I recommend you to watch because they're awesome. And I'm sorry if people have talked to you about them like for so long and I'm sorry if they're so annoying to you right now, but these are the best and like you guys should watch them. And that is all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, leave a thumbs up on this video. And hop on. Subscribe. Because I will be posting twice a week. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.